hey, hey, let's talk. Let's, let's have a real chat here because I feel like a lot of guys are clueless. See, the reason why you continue to be unsuccessful with women is because you're paying no mind to certain things that speak louder than your perceived kind gestures. Why don't women like you? I'll tell you. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, my name is Jessica. I'm a broadcaster, fitness enthusiast, biker girl, and a voice actor. I live in Accra, Ghana. Thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you like this video, I would plead that you smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I post. I totally appreciate that. Okay, so why don't women like you? Why don't they like you? You really wanna know why they don't like you? Boy. <sighs> Where do I start from? You're too loud. You are too loud. And I get it. When your adrenaline and your testosterone mix, it can sometimes be a big turner for women who don't necessarily like to see or engage the loudest guy in the room because they come across as very obnoxious, full of themselves, don't respect anybody, think they're self-made maybe and don't need anybody by their sides. And um, that could unknowingly be pushing women away from you even before you had a chance to say hello. There's some guys who are just too loud. Too loud. Tone it down. Number two, you live an uninspiring life. I mean, listen, you're hanging around your boys' boys all the time, playing video games, she doesn't seem to see you doing anything worth anything, you know? And in as much as women like men who are fun, they also like men who are ambitious. And I'm so sorry, but you can't get through this. You can't win this relationship game if you're going nowhere. Because nobody wants to associate with a loser, to be honest. And if I can't seem to figure you out, can't seem to see that, oh, this is a guy who's, you know, got his future figured out, even if you don't, you know, um, if I don't see that, there's no way I'm going to follow you. And for most women, if you have money, it's a great incentive for them. But there are other crops of women out there who do not look at money at all, in actual fact. They are more interested in, you know, um, what you bring to the table, where you're going, how big your dreams are and that kind of stuff. And that's more what they look out for because at the end of the day, if you go for a self-made man, he's already self-made. He doesn't need you for the rest of your life. Well, you're going to be what? At his beck and call. And not every woman likes that kind of thing. And so I'm just saying, if you have an uninspiring life, people can't see what's going on for, for you. People don't know anything about your dreams. And I'm, I'm not saying go and spill your dreams to everyone because there are people who steal your dreams as well if you talk too much. But you should be seen to wanting to do something, to do better, to improve, to change your circumstances. And women find that really, really attractive. Number three. Now, there are a lot of you guys who jump in front of a woman at a party and straight away you go ahead to compliment her body, her looks. It's all very superficial and physical. Yes, there's some women who like that, but there are a lot of them who are also turned off by it. So if you start to throw out that whole, ooh, baby, you're looking sexy kind of vibe, as soon as you see me, two minutes into our conversation, you might lose me because at the end of the day, I do not want it to be about my body or my looks. Yeah, I know I'm a gorgeous woman. I looked in a mirror before I came out, but I don't need you to validate that for me. And for men who are really, really expressive when it comes to a woman's physical attributes, um, you could be losing out big time on women who do not appreciate that kind of conversation. So you might want to pay a little bit more attention to the way you approach women. Don't go in directly and start complimenting her body. She wants to think that you are actually interested in, you know, beyond the physical, stuff beyond the physical, right? Um, and I know, I get it. You're not gonna know these things immediately. And indeed, the first thing that would attract you to even want to engage with her is the way she looks. I understand. 
But through conversation, through that initial engagement, you can get her to open up to you and get a good sense of the kind of person she is, who she is, what she wants, what she loves to do, etc. without it coming across as um, just in for the kill, looking at her physical appearance and wanting to get her into bed. That's a bloody turn off. That's a really big turn off. You're too arrogant. Mm-hmm. Too arrogant. Now this tends to happen a lot with men who feel like they have come as far as they have without anybody's help. Self-made man, right? Um, and don't get me wrong, confidence is actually sexy, but there's a really thin line between being confident and it dovetailing into, or segueing into arrogance. And usually this comes through in the way you interact with the woman that you just met or a woman you're trying to woo. Um, and and, and, and it, it comes across as a big turnoff because people who are arrogant are usually very self-absorbed. It's all about me, 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 me. I did this. I am going to do this. I can do this for you. You, do, you, you. And, and every time you say I, it's less about her. But she wants to know that she's going to get with a man who actually loves her and cares about what she thinks, about where she's going, um, who, who, who thinks about her dreams too and how he can make an input into her life. Your appearance is blah. Mm. And that cuts across. You know, you're not clean shaven. Yeah, maybe you managed to buy some expensive perfume, you smell nice, but at the end of the day, you look so scruffy. You don't seem to have your life together. Whew, appearance, oh, appearance is everything, child. <laughs> appearance is everything, okay? Now, I know that some people are blessed with better looks, and that's okay. In this world, we all can't look like the Hollywood stars, right? But not all good-looking people necessarily are successful when it comes to relationships. And why is that? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter about how you look. I mean, looks matter, but they're not everything, if you know what I mean. Um, you could be a really handsome guy and yet have a really bad attitude. And that alone is gonna like push women away from you. Now, think about this, right? Ask yourself, when you look in a mirror just before you step out, am I going to be attracting the kind of woman I want to have in my life by the way I look? If your answer is no, well, there you have it. Go back in and change, all right? Appearance matters. Are you well-groomed? Do you smell nice? Are you wearing nice, clean clothing? Are you not so loud? Women are attracted to those things. So pay extra attention to your appearance. Another thing, you talk too much. Now, women detest men who seem to know everything. They know the answers to everything, they will give the answers to everything, and they will not listen to anybody else's opinion on the matter because they seem to have it all figured out. Nobody likes to know it all. And there are a lot of men who, in their quest to impress women, just go really overboard with this whole, oh yeah, but you know this isn't right. Oh, but you know this is how this came about. And you know, and, and, and at the end of the day, they even try to tell people how they should feel. Everybody's gonna be sitting there like, okay, what's going on here? Like this guy, who does he think he is? He knows everything, okay. So you're walking dictionary, big deal. I wanna go with that guy who will rather hear me out and has, um, and considers my opinion on, on things instead of telling me, oh, you, can't, you have to do this and you can't do that. And you know what I mean? I mean, just keep the, the talking on a minimum. You know, people start to get bored when you just don't know when to stop. You're just going and blah and blah and blah and blah. And... <sighs> but you catch my drift. Okay. We don't like talkatives. Because mm. you end up saying too much. You know, it's, it's a turn off. It really is. Mm. And this one can be cute, but can also get really unattractive very fast if you're too clingy. Okay. Depending on the level of your relationship, how far you've gone, whether you just left, met the woman or not, she doesn't want you always in her space. Yeah, it's nice to check up on her once, maybe 
the morning, maybe in the evening, a little message here, a little message there. But when it grows into something where you constantly want to be with her, you're not giving her any space to breathe. You're just like, I don't want you to go out with your friends. You meet other guys. Um, um, no, 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 no. Um, you know, I think this guy likes you. Don't be too friendly with him. Don't answer that call. It might be a guy who likes you. Goodness gracious, it's it makes you want to pull out your hair. You know, don't do that, okay? Don't be too clingy. I know, sometimes the love is so deep, you want to just have that woman, amazing woman, all to yourself. But remember, she's an individual. She has a life too. She has things she wants to do. She doesn't always want to be with you, just like you don't, you may not always want to be with her as well, because you have a life outside each other. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. A couple of points is for my brothers out there. So yeah, I hope it helps. And I hope you are able to turn things around and increase your chances of landing the girl of your dreams. Why don't women like you? Because you do these things. My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.